Welcome to Famous Fortunes. I hope you are well. Today we are going to look into Piers Morgan. He has won his... I don't know if you would call it a case, but he has won. <laughs> He's been cleared of wrongdoing. And that's what we're looking at today. He has been cleared of any wrongdoing, freedom of expression, freedom of speech is allowed on TV. So that's good. That's a good thing. That's a good thing. So in any event, today's topic, Piers Morgan wins Meghan Markle tantrums. That's what we're going to be looking at today. How does Meghan Markle feel about the what's just unfolded? How does she feel? That's what we're going to be focusing on today. Will Piers Morgan get his job back? Well, we might throw, throw, throw that to the cards. We'll see what happens. We will see what happens. The tea and tarot questions are absolutely pumping. I have to say, some of the best questions we have had to date on Famous Fortunes. Uh, so we are going to be doing that very, very soon. We're going to be doing it this weekend. Uh, let that be known. If you'd like to support the channel, go ahead and join Team Famous Fortunes. Go ahead and join Team Famous Fortunes. You never know. You never know. I'm thinking of some things we can do in Team Tarot a little bit different. Maybe some announcements. We'll see what happens. So I'm, I'm just working through a few things at the moment. We'll, we will see. Team Tarot could be quite interesting. Let's say that. Let's say that. All right. So first question. Let's look at Meghan Markle. Let's look at how she feels. Let's look at how she feels. I have an interesting quote here from Piers Morgan discussing, he, he is heading back here at uh, someone by the name of Omid Scobie, if you've heard of him. And Piers Morgan is saying, you just trash the queen in your garbage book without a care for the mental health of a 95 year old woman grieving the loss of her husband, unquote. So that's that's what I've just read. Could you get any more of a knockout than that? I'm not sure. I am not sure. Uh, so <laughs> it's quite a, it's quite a, that's quite a thing. So let's have a look. How does Meghan Michael feel about this? That certainly made my day reading that quote. That was quite, that's quite a blow. Oh boy. All right, cards are hot. How is Meghan Markle feeling? We have the Empress, ooh, the Empress card, the High Priestess, look at these major arcana, Ten of Swords, oof, ouch, ouch, that has to hurt. Oh boy, it's going to be a good one. The Magician, another major arcana. Lastly, the lovers. The lovers. Now, can you believe it? Four major arcanas. I would say straight away that this topic certainly has, uh, well, this subject certainly has Meghan Markle's attention. I think that's the energies here are quite strong. Knight of Swords is the underlying energy. So, but we can expect with the Knight of Swords as the underlying energy. I would say that there may be some. There may be some retaliation in the works, potentially. Maybe it's something to ask. We're going to ask it. We will ask that question today. We're going to ask that question because there, that Knight of Swords, it looks like there may be a, there may be something in the works. But the Ten of Swords, the central card here, this is speaking to a decisive loss for Megan, uh, a, a certain loss. There's no, 
uncertainty to it. It is final, it's over, it's done with, and quite potentially quite painful as well. Quite a painful loss. And this topic has been... There's an energy here with the Ten of Swords. This topic has been completely... Uh, it's been completely shut down. And there is really no... There really isn't a way to take this further in the sense of what was done in the first place, if you like. So it, retaliation may be in order, but it's it's not going to go further. It's not going to be escalated in that way, although there still may be retaliation. So it's done. It's, it's done. She lost. He did nothing wrong. And it, quite painful, I'm afraid. Quite painful. There's an element of pain here with the Ten of Swords. There's an element of decimation really that is the that's the archetype of this card so let it be known now i have to say again four major arcanas is quite something it is quite something empress high priestess magician and the lovers it, it is quite something for a question like this and it it does make one wonder the high priestess and the magician and the lovers. Who... Now, Team Famous Fortunes, was there anything happening between Piers Morgan and Meghan Markle in the past? Was there ever a thing going on? Because um, it's a question to the audience. Uh, let us know in the comments if you know of anything, if you've heard any rumours... If you have any juicy goss at all, let us know in the comments because I do not know enough about this to make a call. Uh, although I can I can see a lover's card here. It's peculiar. It's a peculiar energy, I have to say. Uh, a jilted lover? I mean, <laughs> it's, uh, it's certainly something. It's certainly something. Now, I let us know in the comments. It's, it's too, uh, perhaps too abstract for me to say. But, uh, but it is there, that lover's card. And it is an unusual card in, in, this, uh, in this context, in, in, in this sense. The only other thing one could think of is that she is... If it's not some past relationship or some something... A good time, not a long time, that type of thing. Then... It's... Then there's another party here on the cards. There is another party that is involved in this. Could it be Harry? Could be. Could be Harry. But there is another party here. There's something else going on here that we do not know about. And it is. So there's a little bit of there's a little bit of funny business going on here, I think. A little bit, things aren't quite as they seem. I would say things are looking a little bit funky. Let's say that. A little bit strange. If I was to read the High Priestess card on its own, not paired with the Magician and the Lovers, because that's really what we're seeing, that's, that's what we're sensing. There's this sense of... I would say it's a sense of hmm, peculiar card, particularly with the Empress next to it. Let's go ahead and clarify because I, it, otherwise this may be more speculation than reading as to as to the real meaning that we're seeing. Let's clarify the Empress and the High Priestess together. This pairing of cards. Very interesting reading today, I have to say. I think the the most immediate uh, juice that we got out of this reading was definitely the Ten of Swords and the Knight of Swords. But these other cards just speak to a plot that is thickening here. Very, very thick. High Priestess and the Empress. Alright, 
Cons are hot. We have Four of Pentacles, Justice, and Three of Pentacles. I see. So this, these cards here represent, there's a representation here of justice. So Meghan Markle was out for justice, or out for righting a perceived wrong. She's working with another party here, uh, focusing on, there's a certain... For want of a better word, now this word might be too strong, the Four of Pence, it may be too strong, but there's a certain sense of self-interest, even selfishness with this card. So there's that sort of element, the sort of energies are coming through. Why would it be attached to the High Priestess and the Empress? Has there been, have there been a couple of people working on trying to get uh, Piers Morgan in trouble. I mean, that's really that's the thing. Is there been has there been two people, two women perhaps even, that have been working on it, working on making it happen? Uh, quite strange. Quite strange cards. Uh, it, it is a little bit tough to get to sink our teeth into these cards because they're a little bit abstract. Again, Ten of Swords, the Knight of Swords, are really giving us the 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 immediate hit, the immediate juicy goss that we're looking for. So these other cards, Team Famous Fortunes, let us know in the comments. Perhaps we'll look into it more. Give us more to go off. All right, let's have a look. Let's change our, let's change our approach a little bit. Will there be retaliation? The Knight of Swords is certainly speaking to something happening here. Will there be retaliation? Cards are hot. We have the Page of Wands, the Three of Wands, the Page of Pentacles. A lot of pages here. Eight of Wands and the Six of Pentacles. Underlying energy, the Hermit. Mm, very, very strange cards. So yes, the it's not going to be Meghan Markle herself that comes out with a direct uh, reply or whatever it is to Piers Morgan. That's not what we're going to see. We're going to see messengers with the Page of Wands, Page of Pentacles. We're going to see messenger boys and they're going to pass on essentially the feelings of... Of, uh, of of Meghan Markle, essentially that's what, or at least they will be used uh, in some way, directly or indirectly, but that's really what it's going to be. Uh, whether or not Meghan Markle directs it or not, it's another story, uh, but it looks like she's not going to be putting her uh, self out there at the moment with the Hermit. That's not what's happening. In fact, that is probably the card that is most likely to represent her keeping a low profile, let's say. She's on the lam for a while. <laughs> she is just hitting the mattresses bad. She is just nowhere to be seen. She's not going to be found for a little while. So yeah, it's going to be the it's going to be the pages and the messengers. They're going to be passing on their um, their two cents worth here with the six of pentacles. Probably literally two cents worth. Maybe even less, so let that be known. All right. Now, there's not a terrible lot more in that particular reading that we're going to get out of it, so will Piers Morgan get his job back? Let's have a look. Bonus reading. Bonus reading.
Will Piers Morgan get his job back? Does he want it back? I mean, that's the thing. Do, do you really want to go back to that? Is the money even worth it, really? Cards are hot. Will Piers Morgan get his job back? Let's find out. Queen of Swords. Ooh, there's that woman coming up again. There's a woman here. There is a woman. There may be two women. Let's just keep an eye out. Ten of Swords. There's that Ten of Swords. High Priestess. There's that other woman we're talking about. Three of Wands and the Six of Wands. Underlying energy here, the Seven of Cups. Uh, unlikely. His looks like his job is done, son. It looks like that that possibility has ended. Let's say that uh, it is not looking good whatsoever. But so ten of swords. There is from these energies. Let's say very little chance of Piers Morgan returning to that position or whatever it was. Uh, not looking good. Interestingly, we have this idea of two women coming up again, the Queen of Swords and the High Priestess. So there's, I'm seeing this as two women involved. Perhaps one is Megan. Who is the other woman here? Who's the other woman? It seemed to be, they seem to be working as a, as a pair, as a unit. Potentially, that's what I'm seeing on the cards. It is interesting we're getting this idea of two women that's come up uh, here that are sort of in... Perhaps they're in cahoots. Is that what the tarot is trying to tell us? Is that what we're trying to... Is that what we're seeing here? Maybe. Maybe. Three of Wands. It looks like Piers Morgan's looking at... Let's say he's looking at other opportunities. Maybe he's even looking abroad. Maybe he's looking outside of the UK, perhaps. Who knows? But with a Six of Swords, it's potentially quite likely he'll move on, actually. With this particular card itself... He might actually move on here and make it, uh, make, maybe he'll travel somewhere else and, and get, get a job somewhere else, perhaps. Maybe that's what's on the cards for him. But the, the Seven of Cups here, there is a, there is an, there is a, it, this looks to me like Piers Morgan's looking at different offers and opportunities. That's what I'm seeing here. It looks as though he's looking at his options and he is trying to perhaps figure out what's best for him. Hmm. It looks like with his Queen of Swords and the Ten of Swords, it looks like there's this isn't Piers Morgan's decision. It it looks like it's out of his control. This looks like this has been this job. There is there is a woman here, I'm not sure who it is, but it looks like there's a woman that's really put to bed this idea of him returning to that position. It looks like that's it looks like he's been stabbed in the back, quite literally here with the Ten of Swords. It that's what it looks like to me. It looks like he has been stabbed in the back. Now that's literally what I'm seeing here with the Ten of Swords. Do I know that's happened? Of course. I don't. But in any event, that's what we're seeing here with the Ten of Swords. It looks like he's having a hard time, perhaps. A hard time. A hard time. Not indeed. So, yeah, no, not looks like it does not look likely he's going to return. So, looks like he, if I was to guess, he's going to move overseas and look for a position elsewhere. That's what I would say he is most likely the probable outcome with these cards so yes remember team famous fortunes t and tarot is coming up this weekend so drop your comments i've been collecting them all week drop them your questions into the comment section t and tarot state your question let it be known in the comments and we will see what happens with t and tarot it should be good should be a great episode. Just remember, get your tea ready, get your coffees ready. It is going to be a good one. So let that be known.